Good day. In this video, we'll take a look at the sales tax. Firstly, let's identify what the sales tax and how it works. Sales tax is an indirect tax collected on the sale of goods and services. It's a cumulative tax collected at various stages during the life of goods and services. Tax amount borne by the ultimate customer but is collected on behalf of the tax authorities at the different stages in the product's life. Let's see an example here. Suppose that you are manufacturing furniture manufacturer and you buy some raw materials from supplier for 100 days here. Beside paying net amount of the raw materials, you have to pay sales tax. Let's suppose that rate for the sales tax is 18%. It can change based on the country legislation where you run your business. But as it's indirect tax, you pay this amount to the supplier, not directly to tax authorities. This amount will be handed over to tax authorities by supplier. This process will last till the last customer. In every further stage, customer will pay sales tax amount to supplier. And in every stage, supplier hands over the tax amount to the tax authorities, but not the whole amount. As we mentioned before, tax collected on behalf of the tax authorities as a different stage in the product's life. What does it mean? Let's see an example. In the first stage, after the sale, raw material seller hands over 18 ASEAN to the tax authorities, as raw material seller is a first supplier. But in the second stage, after the manufacturer, sales chairs to the dealer and received 54 ASEAN sales tax from the dealer. Now he will hand over to tax authorities only net of the amount which paid to raw material seller. After deducting before paid amount of 18 ASEAN from received 54 ASEAN, manufacturer should hand over to tax authorities 36 ASEAN. This process will continue to the last customer. So, in this case, manufacturer and dealer not suffers from the sales tax as they recover their previous tax payments with received ones and exceed part handed over to tax authorities. Sales tax amount owned by the ultimate customer. Now, let's Take a look what's input and output sales tax. Input sales tax is a tax that added to the price when goods and services are purchased. In our example, you can see that manufacturer suffers input sales tax on purchase. Output sales tax is a tax that is cal calculated and charged on the sale of goods and services from your business. You can charge output sales tax if only you are registered as a sales tax payer. In this case, manufacturer charges output sales tax on the sale to the dealer. Manufacturer pays exceed amount in the, to the tax authorities in 36 years. In conclusion, we can say that registered businesses charge output sales tax on sales and suffers input sales tax on purchase. If output sales tax exceeds input sales tax, the business pays the difference in tax to the tax authorities. If output sales tax is less than input sales tax in a period, the tax authorities will refund the difference to the business. Now, let's take a look 
PayPal will be accounting transactions for the sales tax. Sales tax charged on sale is collected by the business on behalf of the tax authorities. It does not form part of the revenue of the business. For example, manufacturer sells shares for 300 ASEAN and plus charge sales tax in 54 ASEAN. Total invoice price will be 354 ASEAN. Transactions will be like credit sales 300, credit sales tax control account, in other words, output sales tax account 54 ASEAN, debit cash or receivable 354 ASEAN. The sales account or revenue should not should only record 300 ASEAN excluding sales tax. If input sales tax is recoverable, the cost of the purchase should exclude the sales tax and not be recorded. For example, manufacturer purchase raw materials on credit for 100 ASEAN plus sales tax in 18 ASEAN. Transactions will be like Debit purchase 100, debit sales tax control account, in other words, input sales tax account 18 ASEAN, and credit trade payables 118 ASEAN. If the input sales tax is not recoverable, the cost of purchase must include the tax. Example. Purchase would be 118 ASEAN because it's the business itself which must bear the cost of the tax. The accounting transactions will be like purchase 118 ASEAN, credit trade payables 118 ASEAN. In conclusion, sales tax should be excluded from statement of profit and loss, except if business is not registered as sales taxpayer. In this case, is not irrecoverable and should be added to the cost of sales. At the end, let's see how sales tax will be shown in statement of financial position. The sales tax payable to our sources is difference between recoverable input sales tax on purchase and output sales tax on sales. An outstanding payable for sales tax will appear as a current liability in the statement of financial position. Payments to the authorities will not generally consider with the end of the accounting period of the business. And so, at the reporting date, there will be a balance on the sales tax control account. If the balance is for an amount payable to tax authorities, the outstanding payable for the sales tax will appear as a current liability in the statement of financial position. Otherwise, the business will be owed money by the authorities. In such a situation, the sales tax refund owed by the authorities would be a current asset in the statement of financial position. If you like the video, you can subscribe and follow the channel.